I'm back. Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Anna. You know, recently I've met some of my friends from high school that asked me, "What do you do?" I mean, like, I'm a teacher, and they were like, "Okay, what was that?" Come on, guys. Teaching's not easy. It's not something that anyone can figure out on their own. Yet, people have delusions that anyone can do what a typical teacher does on a typical day. We're not just teachers. We're also nurses, psychologists, comedians, cheerleaders, social workers, secretaries, coffee machine mechanics, parental counselors. And almost literally parents in some instances. Whew, I'm almost losing my breath for saying too fast. You see, if you're in a corporate setting, you can just say this is not in my job description. But you're a teacher, and you have to get ready for everything and anything. And there's no turning it down. Here are six reasons why being a teacher is so hard. A teacher must never give up on a student. They have to continuously try on new things, understanding that eventually something will work. Eventually. I would like to buy a hamburger. I would like to buy a hamburger. It's not hamburger, hamburger. I'm not saying hamburger. I said I would like to buy a hamburger. I would like to buy a hamburger. I would like to buy a hamburger. Hamburger. I would like to buy a hamburger. Maybe we should stop. We don't quit. We do not quit. Again, again. I would like to buy a hamburger. I would like to buy a hamburger. I would like to buy a hamburger. I would like to buy the burger. I would like to buy a hamburger. 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 The burger. Who wants a boring teacher? No kid likes to be learning in a boring way. So if you have a fun and unique teaching style, the kids will be interested in learning. Good for both of you. Class, today I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you a joke. Okay, what's brown? <laughs> what's brown and sticky? <laughs> It's a stick. Funny, huh? Right, guys? Of course it is. You guys not laughing? Okay. Give me an N. Give me an A. Give me a D. And what's that spell? What's a great teachers have their heart made of gold. They're willing to forgive. Students for inappropriate behavior. Teachers must be able to get past hurtful actions quickly, and they must not hold it against any student or let it impact how they teach in the classroom. They forget and forgive. Being sensitive to student struggles, even though you may not personally be able to relate to them. Yes. How can I help you? Okay, I get it. I know what's wrong with you. You don't have to say anything. I know. I know what's wrong with you. I understand. For you, it's okay. You don't have to tell anyone. I understand. I understand. For you, <laughs> for you, it's okay. It's okay. Aww. It's fine. It's fine. Number six. A teacher should make a lasting, inspirational impact that follows a student throughout their life. I hope you had a relaxing summer because you deserve it, class. We've come so far, but there's so much more to do. This is your moment. We are one. No two powers that we can are going to respond with a spirit and a people. Yes, we can. Miss Anne, 
What are you doing? You're in the wrong class. <laughs> <laughs> so next time, if you walk through a classroom and you see a teacher, don't think it's an easy job. It's just because we make it look easy and we work our asses off to make it easy and we make it fun too.